brought here uh, the code names uh, mobile version of the game. Uh, I don't know if you know the code names. The code names is a very popular party board game, uh, which is recognized as one of the best in the world. In fact, it's uh, one of the best selling. So that means uh, we sold like uh, 12 million of copies so far. And we decided to, uh, at the beginning of pandemia, that uh, we are going to bring uh, the online version as well. So we prepared a web browser-based uh, game uh, of code names, which is uh, up to for 64 people uh, to play. But uh, all the people have to be online all together at the one time. And we realized that it's a little bit difficult for people to be online at the same time. So that's the reason why we prepared uh, the mobile version as well. Uh, which is uh, its the main biggest difference is that uh, this version of the game is uh, with asynchronous multiplayer, which means like only the guy who is uh, his, on his turn has to be online, the rest could be offline, and they are notified by the push notification when their turn comes. So if you want, we can have a look at that. The game is based on, uh, you are divided into two teams, uh, like the red one and the blue one. And in each team, there is one spy master who is the clue giver. The clue can consist of a single word and a number. And the number will tell you how many words on the table are somehow connected to uh, the clue. So in this situation, three, three, it means that there are three words somehow connected to the word three. So if we are going to have a look at that, we just uh, scan the grid and we can realize that, for example, the bonsai could be the three, so we just double tap. And as far as we are blue team and it's blue agent, we were right, so we are continue uh, in the game. We can try apple, and that was right as well, and maybe uh, the palm tree. That's it, so we just uh, finished the turn. And as I mentioned, uh, this guy has been notified by the push notification that it's his turn and uh, we are going to wait for him. He's got like 24 hours to respond, otherwise he lose the game because he time out and you are definitely win. But you don't have to wait for uh, the 24 hours uh, for his uh, response. You can just close the game and afterwards you are able to play like the infinite number of other games uh, at the same time. Or you can always start a new game. Uh, there are two game modes like the team versus team which is uh, what you've already seen. Or the team versus assassin which is like just for two players. One spy master and one operatives. And you are competing, you are playing together against the computer represented by the assassin. The assassin is going to contact one of his agents per uh, round, so that basically means you've got six turns to win the game. Otherwise, the assassin wins. And you can also play your solo experience uh, puzzles based on uh, the code names uh, rules. We call it daily challenges. You are receiving a bunch of them every single day, and when, you are, uh, when you've got like free time of uh, several minutes per day, you can uh, jump to the game and solve the puzzles. So for instance, uh, here's a wish to, which means, again, there are two words somehow connected to word wish. So when you scan uh, the grid, you can realize that it's uh, the genie. And I can try, let's say, pumpkin from uh, the fairy tale. And oh, no, it was uh, the natural player. And you can see the right choice was uh, well. But I still received some experience points because we are going to level up in the game to unlock new features, new game modes, new world collections, new upgrades and things like that. We can have a look at uh, another case. This is Duff 2, which is obvious, like the Duff is uh, the brand from the Simpsons series. So let's have a look at beer and probably the Homer. And as you can see, it was the perfect, so I received uh, much more experience points. All the situations uh, in the game are made by the real people. There is no AI involved. We, we would like to do that, but uh, the AI is still not capable of uh, working uh, with uh, the meaning of words properly. And you can also prepare your own uh, daily cases or daily challenges for uh, other people. It's called Spy Master Situations and it looks... Uh, okay, we are disconnected because of uh, the game's com internet. Let me... This thing, of course, is made once per uh, day. <laughs> no, the Wi-Fi is, is really bad on the show. And it got worse and worse every single time. Now, we can have a look at the Spy Master situation. The Spy Master situation looks like that. And again, your goal is to try to connect as many gold words as possible with just one clue. 
So when we have a look at that, we can saw, I don't know, squash maybe, box and cricket, and says sports, sports, and confirm that word, and now it was sent to the server. The exact same situation is given up to 10 other guys around the world. We gather all the clues they prepared and distribute them uh, like to other 10 or 12 or 20 guys uh, per clue. And you are going to receive your points based on how successful uh, the guessers was. So at the end of the day, you will receive the result screen. When you can see in the situation that in the hockey 2, I were 100% successful with uh, both of the words, so I received 300 points as a reward, and I was the best spy master of the situation. So I won uh, the gold trophy and a bunch of uh, experience points and stuff like that. And I'm going to level up. During the level up, uh, you are uh, going to have a look at the uh, short animated uh, comics. Uh, about the agent's life. <laughs> and you can also receive the uh, upgrades uh, that will help you to uh, improve your character. Or as uh, in this situation, you receive the jury membership invitation. Uh, the jury is, uh, you, you know, it's impossible to uh, involve all uh, vocabulary uh, from the language uh, at the early beginning of the game. So it can happen that uh, you as a spy master want to give a clue to someone and uh, the game doesn't know the word you used. In that case, you can take the, uh, the word, you can make a, an explanation of that and send it to the jury. Jury is going to vote if uh, the word is like the proper one and it's, uh, if it's not against uh, the rules. And if it's not, they accept that, that, and you can use it, and afterwards everyone in the game in the future can use the word as well. You can also see the heat map, when you can uh, have a look at uh, what was the obstacles uh, for other players with your clues. So in this situation with the countries too, people were 100% were uh, precise with the check, but 25% 20, 20, of people tried satellite instead of Europe. And as far as satellite was the gold word, you could maybe try countries three next time. You also are going to uh, receive a bunch of keys as uh, rewards, and with those keys, you can start to unlocking briefcases. In those briefcases, there are uh, new words for you to start your own word collection. And as you can see, every uh, word belongs to some kind of categories like video games, pop culture, fantasy, sci-fi, um, earth, or history, anything like that. When you collect enough of them, you can start playing just with those words. So in that situation, for example, this game is just based on the video game vocabulary. The game becomes much more harder because you have to be like the real fan of the category to realize that small nuances between words to realize what should be the best clue uh, for the people and uh, what should be like the right guesses. We also prepared something we called VIP missions. There are the special missions with uh, the single twist in the rules, like this one. It's called Detector Gadgets. And the rules are more or less the same as uh, in the uh, normal game uh, of the code names. But in this situation, each team has got uh, one detector gadget to use per game. When you are going to use that, you just activate it, mark one word, confirm the choice, and you can see uh, it will tell you how many, ages, uh, how many agents of yours are in the adjustment area. And there are plenty of those game modes uh, during the game, so you can uh, unlock them and, and play uh, like uh, the special ones. And that's probably everything uh, we've got so far. The application will be available in uh, the first half of next year worldwide. We are just heading to the soft launch because we are finishing the development uh, at the moment. We are working on match matchmaking system because uh, it should be like the robust one. Uh, because it's not so fun when you are playing with someone who is uh, like in a completely uh, different mindset than you are. 
So we are, we are gathering all the information about how you are progressing in the game. And based on that, we are trying to uh, match you with the people who are as similar as possible uh, or to you. So it should be much more fun to play with them. The game will be the premium one. Uh, it should cost around five or six bucks. Uh, we haven't decided yet. Uh, but uh, after the payment, it's just a one-time payment. And after that, there won't be any additional in-app purchases, uh, advertisement, or premium currencies, anything like that. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you.